guys and welcome back to Angie's American Girls. Today I got another little haul video. I totally forgot that I picked up a few things from Target this past weekend when my fiance and I went to take my nephew to the airport near Pittsburgh. So let's go ahead and get started and I also have a package that came in from American Girl today. So we'll start with the pickups from Target. They, I got three um, Our Generation accessory sets. The first one I picked up is the Pop Pop popcorn set. It comes with a popcorn machine, soda, looks like some candy, and um, a popcorn bucket. The second one is the Make a Milkshake accessory set. I like this because I wanted the um, milkshake maker, I don't know what it's called, but it actually spins. And then it comes with some straws, a spoon, and a milkshake. The third one is the woodwork kit. And I picked this one up just because recently um, I put a birdhouse outside um, and I've had a lot of birds come around and I just find it inspiring to build birdhouses and I like being crafty. So those are the three accessories that I picked up from um, the Our Generation line from Target. And then the Truly Me Explore the Parks outfit came in from American Girl. And I know I just recently opened the accessories, but I ordered this separately. So I guess we'll go ahead and start with the American Girl um, Explore the Parks outfit since there's only one item related to that. So, uh, I don't know why I'm struggling to get this. Never mind, I got it. So, <clears throat> like I said in my previous video, this is one of my favorite release items that they uh, released. So the first Part of this set I pulled out is um, this shirt. It's a pretty coral color. Um, it says Nurture Nature, America's National Parks. Has the picture of the forest on there. I do like the color of this shirt. I just wish that it was more like outdoorsy, um, maybe some greens and browns, maybe even an olive color. But the pants are okay. They're a green, green, um, I don't know the material, um, cloth, I don't know what I'm thinking, but they have pockets here. They're not real, which sucks, but that's okay. Then the uh, elastic there, and I like these. Again, um, I wish the top was a little bit more like this color, and maybe the pants were brown, but I still absolutely love the outfit. And then here we have the, I don't know, is this the headband? Um, neckband I don't know I think it's something let me just take a look back here at this little card oh it looks like it's a neckband so that's neat it has um, it's a pretty like sky blue color and then it has some flowers on it the last piece of this set is what are the shoes they're pretty sandals. I don't know really why you'd wear these hiking, <laughs> but they're cute. Um, I like the straps. I like the different colors on the straps. It incorporates the pink and the blue. So yeah, that is the Explore the Parks outfit. So that's super cute. Definitely excited to add that um, into my collection. And I love out anything outdoors, like I've said before, and hiking and all that stuff. So that's awesome. So we'll go ahead and open the first um, Our Generation accessory set. We'll open the popcorn one. So bear with me, I don't... This is one of the first times that I've bought an accessory set from Our Generation. I've bought a few things here and there, but I don't have a Target near me. It's like over an hour away, so I usually just go with the My Life stuff from Walmart. neat so the first thing we have here it looks like is a poster which is really cool it says movie night and popcorn salty and buttery OG cinema so that's really cool I thought this was a sticker at first and it's the same thing on the front and back but it's actually a poster the second one are stickers if I can figure out how to get them open There we go. So we have 
popcorn and I don't know what this thing's called. Tell me what it's called. I know they use it to signal like to start the movie and stuff. We have a strip here and a megaphone, just cool little stickers you can use. Then the next piece is the popcorn bucket itself for the machine. And you actually can turn this here and it looks like it's popping the popcorn, which is really cool. I like that, showing up close view. And then here we have, it looks like the drawer and you can put under here to make it look like there's actually popcorn like down on the bottom there when you're popping it. So that's awesome, I love that. Popcorn's one of my favorite snacks. Next little piece is the chocolate bar. Not really sure what M-I-A-M stands for, but yeah, that's cool. Then it has OG at the top and the chocolate can actually come out. Too bad it doesn't smell like chocolate. That would have been really cool. But anyway, there's a little chocolate bar. Second to last piece of this set is the soda, soda uh, can, cup, and the lid actually comes off, so it's empty in there, and the straw can come out of the lid, I think, yeah, can come out, and the straw's bendy, I like that, I don't really have an American Girl straw. Um, the lid doesn't fit really well on top of the cup, so just be aware if you get this set, um, it's very loose, but it's super cute anyway, I like it. And then the last piece to this set is, of course, the popcorn. And I was trying to see if um, this was removable, but it's not. But that's okay. It says popcorn, and then it's got the butter and all the popcorn in there. And it says salty and buttery. So, yeah, that is the popcorn um, Our Generation set. I really like it. We got the posters and the stickers. We got the popcorn machine itself, which is really cool. You can turn it and make the popcorn down there. And you have your sodas and your chocolate. So yeah, that's neat. Actually, I just sat this down on the bottom of the popcorn and it doesn't really like, it doesn't sit flat. It kind of leans. Um, so just a heads up also, if you pick up the set, just a little minor flaw, I guess, but not bad, super cute set. I rated a 10 out of 10 overall. So the second OG set I'm going to open is the woodwork kit. Again, I love, I don't know, I'm fascinated with birdhouses now after putting the one in my yard. Let's go ahead and take this out. Sorry guys, just this one's really in here. So how have you guys been doing with quarantine? I know that our governor just made masks mandatory within our state. So that's a big change. I know a lot of people don't understand why we have to wear masks, but I'm not just doing it for myself. I'm doing it for, you know, my family, my friends, people who are susceptible to this virus or any diseases. Um, yeah. So wear a mask if you don't, eh, you know. But anyway, my governor made that mandatory. But first off in this birdhouse set, we have the birdhouse itself and it's just a white um, color and then it's plastic and it has a little heart for the birds. The next piece we have is the saw. I don't want <laughs> this is my first uh, American Girl uh, tool that I have. Next up we have the paint and it has a little, it's white and then it has the paint splattering down the can. I like this, except I wish the lid came off and you can kind of see like the white paint in there. That's neat. And then the paintbrush is really cool. I like how it, I don't know, I just like how it looks. And then we have, oh, hold on. So this is the lid for the um, paint, my bad. So there's the lid, you can take the lid off and you can see the paint. So, never mind. It does come off. It just fell off when I took it out of the package. Next up, we have nails and screws. And this is a really neat um, item. You can actually, I don't know if you guys can see the nails and screws in there. I think that's really cool how they did that. And then the last piece we have is the hammer, which of course you need for the nails. So yeah, I think that's a really cute set. And I'm excited to take pictures of my girls with it. I may actually paint the birdhouse. So comment down below what 
color you think I should actually paint this birdhouse because I think it would look really cute. So that is that set. We'll move on to the last set and then I have a little surprise um, that I picked up that I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys. So the third set is the Make a Milkshake. I love milkshakes and I love anything to do with ice cream. Also, how's everybody's weather been near them? Mine here has been really hot the past couple days and we went swimming um, yesterday and it was, it felt really good because it's been super hot. So sorry, I'm struggling to get these open. Pain, but hey, we'll get them. We'll get it. finally got it. So the first item in this milkshake kit is the milkshake um, poster and it says delicious on the bottom and has a chocolate milkshake it looks like and a strawberry milkshake. My favorite would have to be the strawberry milkshake. I'm not really a fan of chocolate. No offense to anybody out there who likes chocolate. The second piece is the milkshake machine itself. It's a pretty blue color and I'm not really sure how to make it spin. I think it just, I don't know. I don't know how it spins. I think maybe just like this, you twist the cups, maybe just like that. And the cups are removable. So that's cool. And then it has um, a little spot on the bottom to where I can hook here. So that's really neat. And then of course here we have, it looks like the strawberry milkshake with the whipped cream and the cherry and it has a blue straw with a white stripe on it and then of course we have the little spoon it's just a silver color it's plastic and then lastly we have the container of straws it has red and white straws in there and i wish this opened up but it doesn't but that's okay but that's really cool because you don't see those much anymore it's like retro so yeah that's really cool i like i like the milkshake i don't know why i just got the cup but you just slide this in here up like this and you put it, attach it and then you can pretend to spin it and make your milkshake. So yeah, thanks for uh, watching me unbox those. I'm gonna show you one last thing before I get off of here because I know this is a very long video and I appreciate you guys sticking by. So I um, found a doll off a local seller here in my town and it's a well played with uh, Mary Ellen doll and I'm gonna fix her up and make her look really pretty. She's gonna be my second TLC doll now. I got her for a really good price as you can see her her hair is really matted but it still has the waves in it. She's got some flaws on her face, a scrap, scrape on her nose. She needs cleaned really well. She has a spot on the back um, of her torso back here. It's orange. You could tell she was really played with um, by the little girl so I'm going to fix her up a little bit, but I just wanted to show you guys. I picked her up from a local seller, and I have Mary Ellen myself, so I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with this one. I may give her some freckles. I'm not sure if I want to rewig her, if I just want to wash it, maybe trim her up a little bit. Um, yeah, so I'm definitely going to clean her up, though, and I, will make a, I want to make a video um, of the process of me fixing her up and stuff, but... I still got to work on like my editing and all that, but I appreciate you guys hanging in there. It's been 14 minutes now. Comment down below what was your favorite item that I opened up today. Mine would have to be probably the milkshake set, although I absolutely love everything um, that I picked up. It's just so interactive. I love interactive sets. So yeah, leave a like, comment down below, and make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for the next video. Bye guys.